So how do we solve logarithmic equations when we have different bases? So you see, for this one, we have log of x plus ln of x is equal to 1. And this log means log base 10, even though there's no number written, but it's commonly referred to as log base 10. And then for the ln, of course, is the natural log, and that means log base e. And yeah, so that's the first equation. And notice that for the second one, what did I do? I just put parentheses around this. Yeah, but anyway, please pause the video and try them first. Done? Done? Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and solve the first one first because we do not have to use any special functions. Unlike the second one, we have to use this. But anyway, for this right here, we can just take a look at the log of x and use the change of base formula. We can rewrite this as ln of x over ln of the base number here, which is 10. And then we still have plus ln of x and this is equal to 1. And now notice that both of them have ln x, so we can factor it out. So we have the ln of x right here times, this right here is just 1 over ln 10, and then plus, that's out already, so just plus 1 like so, and this is equal to 1. Now we can just divide this on both sides, so we are looking at ln of x, that's equal to this 1 on the top, over this on the bottom, which is 1 over ln 10 plus 1. And before we continue, let's just clean the complex fraction up a little bit. Let's multiply the top and bottom by ln 10. ln 10. So we are looking at ln of x equals, this is ln 10 on the top, over this and that is just 1. This and that is ln 10, so we have this expression slightly better in my opinion. And then, we do e to that power and e to this power, they cancel. So finally, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to e to this power, which is ln 10 over 1 plus ln 10. Yep, so this right here is it. Pretty crazy looking answer. Yeah, but now, how would you guys solve this equation though? Don't worry, check this out. Here's the deal. This is log, and here, again, it means log base 10. Let me just emphasize that little 10. Now I shall also put it down right here. So, the situation that we're having here is that we have log base 10 of this is equal to a number. So let's get rid of this log base 10 first. And to do so, we do 10 to this power and 10 to this power so that this and that can be cancelled. And then we will get x plus ln x, and that's equal to 10 to the first power, which is just 10. Now what though? We have x plus ln x is equal to 10. Well, take a look of the shirt. What does it say? The Lambert W function. Yes, we need to have x times e to the x, and then apply the Lambert W function, then we'll just get the x back. But I don't see no x e to the x though. It's okay. What we can do is just do e to this power and e to that power. Check this out. This part, because we have x plus ln x, we can rewrite this as e to the x times e to the ln x. So that's legitimate, and this is equal to e to the 10. Better yet, this e and this ln cancel, so we just have this x right here, right? And let's put the x to the front, so just like this. So all in all, this right here is just x times e to the x, and that's equal to e to the tenth power. And finally, we just have to take the Lambert W function, so that the left hand side will just get the x back, and this right here is just equal to w of e to the tenth power. And this right here will be considered the exact answer. If you want to use a computer to work this out, you can use Wolfram Alpha, and the way that you can enter this is you can just enter this as product log. So we have the common log because that's log base 10, and the natural log that's log base e. And then here now we see the so called product log. Yeah, so the Lambert W function that's what W is for, and then just enter this and then do e to the 10th power. Go ahead, try this out on a computer, Wolfram Alpha, or on your phone, on the iPad, or whichever powerful enough software. And let me know what the answer is. 
So if you find math interesting, then I think you'll also like Brilliant. Brilliant is one of the best websites for math and science, and I've been a long-term user because of the variety of courses that they have. Currently, they have over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. These classes are designed to make fun and engaging. I like their logic, algebra, and calculus classes because they often provide me a different point of view so that I can learn something new. And let me tell you, they have beginner level of math courses and also advanced courses such as differential equations and quantum computing. I'm sure you will find something that you like. Plus, if you use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash black and repent, then you can enjoy a 20% off of the annual premium subscription. So go ahead and check them out. And thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video.